dear students welcome to the problem solving session on lagrange multiplier method part 2 those who don't watch the lagrange multipliers method basics go to the playlist and watch the basics video and come back here in the previous video we are dealing the basic ideas and procedure how to solve the problem using lagrange's method and there I have given the note that this method does not specify whether the extremal values obtained is a maximum or minimum. It is usually decided from the physical and geometrical consideration of the problem. So, in the example one, it is given that a rectangular box has volume 32, and I want to find the least amount of material. So, I want to find the minimum amount of material needed to find the length, breadth, and height. That is the dimensions of the box. Now, in this session, we are going to see again a rectangular box problem. This is also very interesting. A rectangular box, again it is open at the top, have surface area 432. So, the total surface area is 432 square centimeter. Find the dimensions of the box, that is length, breadth, and height, which has maximum capacity. As I said, in the previous problem, we found the minimum surface area here the maximum capacity so the maximum minimum should be mentioned in the question we cannot find using the Lagrange's method here it is mentioned as the maximum capacity so that I am going to find length breadth height such that it should have the maximum capacity let us go into the problem objective we have to find the dimensions of the rectangular box which is open at the top which maximizes the capacity of a fixed surface area given a rectangular box whose surface area is 432 and it is open at the top now i want to find length breadth and height such that it maximizes the volume let x, y, z represent the dimensions of the box. So, let us see the rectangular box. It has how many sides? It has six sides. Front and back, left and right, top and bottom. As my kid said, it has six sides. So, according to our question, it is said that it is opened at top. So, I am going to consider a rectangular box which has five sides. Right, left, front, back and the bottom. Now, as usual, we see x, y, z or the axis. Now, the surface area given is 432. Since we are leaving the top of the box, the surface area is going to be x, y plus 2y, z plus 2z, x that is equal to 432. So, we know that area of a rectangle whose sides are x and y is x, y. Then, volume of the rectangular box, it is going to be simply x, y, z. Therefore, my f is x, y, z and the given constraint g equal to 0 is x, y plus 2, y, z plus 2, z, x equal to 432. Therefore, the volume of the box is f equal to x, y, z. I will take it as equation 1 because I want to find this. So, I will take it as f. And the total surface area of the rectangular box open at the top, which has five sides, is going to be x, y plus 2, y, z plus 2, z, x equal to 432. I am going to take it as equation 2. I am going to define the constraint G from the equation 2 xy plus 2yz plus 2zx minus 432. Now, by Lagrange's multiplier method, I am going to write capital F, that is small f plus lambda g. I want to find the stationary point. So, f x 0, f y 0 and f z 0. And the other concern, we don't bother f lambda equal to 0. As I said, that is my equation 2. Now, let us make the table. Before that, we have to write f. So, it is very easy for us to do partial differentiation. f x 0. So, differentiating f partially with respect to x will give y z plus lambda into y plus 2 z equal to 0. Remember students, this problem is just the reciprocal. In the previous problem, this is my g and this is my f. In this problem, it is in the opposite places. Similarly, f y is going to be x z plus lambda into x plus 2 z equal to 0. For f z equal to 0, we have x y plus lambda into 2 y plus 2 x x equal to 0. Now, my aim is to eliminate the lambda. So, I am rearranging the equations like this. Simplifying this, we will be getting the three equations. All my right hand side is minus lambda. Just equating the left hand side of this three equation, we will be getting this 
new equation. In next step, we are going to consider the terms that is first and second term or second and third term to find the values of x, y, z. Step 3, equations to solve. I am going to take first and second terms. Now I can cancel z, z. When I cross multiply, I will be getting like this. So y, x plus 2, z, y is equal to y, x plus 2, x, z. Now I can cancel y, x, y, x. We will be getting 2zy equal to 2xz. I can cancel 2, 2 and z, z. Finally, I will be getting x equal to y. Next, considering the second and third term, I can cancel x, x. When I cross multiply, I will be getting this. Simplifying this, we will be getting 2zy, 2xz equal to yx plus 2zy. Now I can cancel 2yz, 2yz. We will be getting 2xz equal to yx. x, x get cancelled. So finally, I will be getting y equal to 2z. You can see the typed version. So finally, we get the relation x equal to y equal to 2z. Substitute the relation in equation 2. The equation 2 is nothing but my surface area. So I will make everything as z. 2z into 2z plus 2 into 2z into z plus 2z into x is 2z is equal to 432. Simplifying this, we will be getting 12z square equal to 432 and z square is 36. Now we should be very careful. We are dealing the dimension x, y, z are the positive quantity because they are going to be the measurement in the rectangular box. So I will take z simply as x. Usually when you take square root, we will be taking plus or minus 6 but here I am just taking it as 6 because it is the measurement of the rectangular box. If I found z equal to 6, immediately I can found x equal to y equal to 12. Therefore, my dimensions of the box is 12 comma 12 comma 6. Now, we have to substitute this x, y, z in the equation 1. My equation 1 is the volume x, y, z. Substituting the values, we will be getting 864. So, for the surface area of the open rectangular box, 432, the maximum volume can be possessed as 864 with the dimensions 12, 12, 6. Let us see one more problem. The temperature T at any point x, y, z in a space is given by 400 x, y, z square. Find the highest temperature on the surface of the unit sphere. So when they say unit sphere, my radius is going to be 1 and they don't mention anything about the center. So I will take the center as origin 0, 0, 0. Therefore, this is my equation. Let us go into the steps. First, we have to find the maximum temperature T on the surface of the unit sphere. That is my objective, step 1. Sometimes, people give the temperature function in terms of U, sometime in terms of T. We assume a common notation. Always consider this as F. Whatever I want to find, I will take it as F. So, F equal to capital T equal to 400 X Y Z square. That is my equation 1. Now, given unit sphere. So, x square plus y square plus z square equal to 1. That is my equation 2. Now, the constraint g can be easily taken from equation 2. That is x square plus y square plus z square minus 1. f and g are ready. I want to write the axillary equation capital F is equal to F plus lambda g. So, my F is going to be 400 x y z square plus lambda into x square plus y square plus z square minus 1. Step 2, we are going to find the stationary points fx0, fy0, fz0 in a tabulated way. Let us go into the table. Differentiate f partially with respect to x and equate it to 0, we will be getting 400 yz square plus lambda into 2x equal to 0. For fy, Similarly, we will be getting 400xz square plus 2 lambda y equal to 0. For fz, we have z square. So, we will be getting 800xyz plus lambda into 2z is equal to 0. Now, my aim is to eliminate lambda. So, segregate the lambda to the other side. We will be getting like this. Now, my right hand side is minus lambda for all the three terms. So, I can equate my left hand side and I get the new equation. Next, 
step 3 we have to solve the equations i am going to consider as usual term 1 and 2 similarly term 2 and 3 it is not mandatory you always consider term 1 2 and 2 3 you can take any combination i am going to consider the terms 1 and 2 now i can cancel this 200 200 z square and z square so i'll be getting y by x equal to x by y listen students whenever we try to find the relation always think the fourth constraint that is g equal to 0 that is nothing but my equation x square plus y square plus z square equal to 1 try to bring these terms in terms of this equation so it is easy for us to solve so i am simply writing y square equal to x square or x square equal to y square don't take square root because my constraint is going to be x square plus y square plus z square equal to 1 next now considering term 2 and 3 simplifying this we will be getting 2y square equal to z square so y square is equal to z square by 2 equating we will be getting x square equal to y square that is equal to z square divided by 2 substitute this constraint in equation 2 as i said make the equations which is suitable for equation 2 my equation 2 is x square plus y square plus z square equal to 1 i am going to replace x square by z square by 2 Similarly, y square is z square by 2 plus z square equal to 1. So, 2 is z square equal to 1. Since this is going to be 1, 1 plus 1, 2. Therefore, z square equal to 1 by 2. z equal to plus or minus 1 by root 2. In the previous problem, it is the measurement. So, I take the positive value. But this problem, it is going to be a temperature. So, I can get negative values also. So, z equal to plus or minus 1 by root 2. Now, if you know this value, if you substitute here, I can see x square equal to y square equal to 1 by 4 since z square value is 1 by 2. 1 by 2 divided by 2 is 1 by 4. Therefore, x equal to y equal to plus or minus 1 by 2 and z equal to plus or minus 1 by root 2. You can see the stationary points of this. If I take 1 by 2 for x, I can have 4 combinations with this y and z. Similarly, if I take x equal to minus 1 by 2, I will have 4 more combinations in y and z. So, totally we get 8 stationary points. But we don't want to take all the 8. Why? Since t is given as 400 x y z square and I want to find the maximum temperature. If I want to find the maximum temperature, you see in this function z square is 100% positive. So, I want to make x y as positive. It is only possible if both x and y are positive or both x and y are negative. So, I can take only 4 points where both x y positive and both x y negative. So, I will be getting 1 by 2, 1 by 2, 1 by root 2, 1 by 2, 1 by 2, minus 1 by root 2. Similarly, minus 1 by 2, minus 1 by 2, 1 by root 2, minus 1 by 2, minus 1 by 2, minus 1 by root 2. Now, the beauty is, whatever the point you substitute, you are going to get the same answer. My maximum temperature is going to be 50 degree Celsius because z square equal to 1 by 2. If I substitute here, I will be getting 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 into 1 by 2. Even if you take a negative point, will be getting minus 1 by 2, minus 1 by 2, z square is 1 by 2. So we are going to get the same solution. I hope this video will be useful for you. Subscribe to our channel, share to your friends. Thank you.